The ND-287, as well as its sister, the ND-280, they do receive a 11 microamp, 1 volt peak to peak, or the NDEP 2.2 signal from Heidenhain. The output is a 1 volt peak to peak, has a subdivision factor of 4096 fold, or interpolation. The uh, screen is a color TFT screen. Uh, now, the ND-280, which is also on the website, has uh, a monochrome screen. The functions are simple. You have two datums, you have distance to go, you have integrated help and diagnostic features, as well as with the ND-287 here, sorting and tolerancing checking, measurement series with min and max value storage, saved measured value max, again up to 10,000 characters, functions for SPC, graphical description, histogram, sum and difference display, that is, of course, if you have the second encoder option installed. Again, with the ND-287, you can have the Ethernet option for putting it into a network system, or you can have a second encoder input if you're going to put two length gauges together for summing and difference. Both the ND-280 and this 287 do linear and angular. They can be compensated with access error for up to... 180 points or every two degrees. Now you're going to notice right now that on this one I have it connected to a Heidenhain rod 880C and it is in decimal right here. It's set for inf infinity. You can set it up for positive 180, negative 180, or 360. Again, you have RS-232 data interface and USB interface if you're going to be doing output. Switching outputs, zero crossover, trigger points one and two, sorting signals and error. For the switching inputs, zero reset and preset, crossover reference point and ignore reference signals, measured value outputs or freeze display, start menu series, minimum maximum, gating of the two encoder inputs, sum and difference, as well as many other features. When you turn on the ND-287, you're going to see it's very easy to read. There are the four major toggle buttons to set up a datum, presets, or if you want to reset zero, there you go. You're going to notice here on this short hotkey is three pages. Up here it's highlighting page number three. That means I have two other pages for these toggle switches. Press one, there is setup. When you go to setup, you can input the unit of measure, the scaling factor, value datum point, stopwatch, council adjustment, and languages. In addition to switching signals, measured value outputs, and the inputs. You're going to notice that we have another install setup. These are password protected parameters. You put in the Heidenhain passcode there, enter. Now you can go to encoder setup. You can select it as a rotary or uh, as linear and then one volt peak to peak and this one actually has 36,000 line count. If you notice at every screen there is a help button that will take you to the owner's manual, the operations PDF file to uh, help give you a step-by-step -step understanding of that particular function you're doing. You go down and then we got display configuration. Here we can display the resolution of our display. We can make it finer. We can make it coarser. Let's make it very, very fine. We uh, enter and it goes back and it saves it. Enter always captures the changes. Clear goes back. Counter settings. Error compensation. Interface settings. Again, a PC. Uh, RS-232 or USB. The last one right here is diagnostics. Particularly I want to show this to you. Not only do you have the keypad test, the display test, but Heidenhain gives you the encoder test. This is a very valuable feature. Here you're going to see an oscilloscope. You got the signal strength, the symmetry, and the phase angle. I, like I said, I have it connected right now to a Heidenhain Rod 880 a high accuracy angle encoder with a guaranteed accuracy of plus or minus one arc second. 
As I turn the shaft, you're going to see on the display an oscilloscope. You can see that is a perfect signal. The signal is strong on both A and B. The symmetry is exactly where it needs to be and it is at about 90 degrees out of phase. If for some reason this circle was an oblong or an egg shape, uh, then you would definitely know that you have some issues and then we would be able to assist you on that. Now, many people have old Heidenhain encoders and their display has gone out. And since this no longer uh, Heidenhain You're going to notice I'm using the new Rod 880. Some customers have older encoders, and for in fact, I had a customer call this last week. He had a Rod 700. It was 23 years old, and it just now was beginning to uh, have weakness in the signals. It was an older 11 mic microamp signal, and so what we did, we got him on uh, a signal adapter, and we got him the new one and it plugged into his old display. However, with the 287, you can accept the older signal and the newer signal. So again, here's the help, and you can go to the list of topics. You can scroll down or up. Obviously, it jumped right to encoder test. There's error compensation, encoder setup, council adjustment, job setup, uh, SPC analysis, SPC setup. Again, we clear out of that, clear and clear, and then we go back again to our main menu. Setup, measured series, this is for your SPC. You start your measure series, tolerance checking, and I've got another page. There's your help, print, delta mode, degrees, or inches and degrees, 